Hey everybody, it's Paula. Um, today we're going to be making pancakes uh, homemade and I'm going to show you some of my, my tricks and tips on how to make pancakes. Um, I do apologize, I can't see uh, comments for some reason. So if you do comment, I'll have to comment later. Um, if you're asking me about why I did what I did, if, I, if there's something that I was missing. Um, don't forget to follow me on YouTube. Um, I have to say I'm, I'm thankful for everybody that has been watching. Um, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, the grandkids have been helping me. Uh, David's been in a couple of them. So I've really had a lot of fun. And um, so just if you happen to follow me on YouTube, just remember to um, subscribe, like, and share the videos. And also on here as well, too, because it does count for me. So um, I hope you all enjoy my homemade pancakes and I'm going to begin um, so I apologize I have to set the camera up so give me just a second okay a little different doing it live I normally do this pre-video so that way I can set and edit and everything and I got the grandkids here with me today so I hope you all can see this if not I'll change it Okay. Okay, so as you can see, I have some ingredients here. And, um, give me just a second. Hey, Jennifer. Okay, so I'm going to bring this up just a little bit so it's not so much me. this camera around. I apologize. Sorry, guys. I thought I could change this up a little bit. All right, maybe I can get a better view. Can you see the ball now? That's crooked. Okay. Okay. All right, so I have my handy-dandy blue ball. And um, so I will be honest with you, I, I have my, my go-to recipe book that I follow and it gives me all the whatnots and everything to use. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go by what the directions tell me by my cookbook and, um, and then I will tell you what I add and, and take away. Okay, so first you're supposed to add all your dry ingredients together. So I'm going to add all my um, flour, and I have a cup and three-fourths of uh, just regular all-purpose flour. Then I'm going to take, I have my um, baking soda, my baking powder, which my baking soda is two teaspoons, my... Uh, ba uh, my soda is one teaspoon and I have a teaspoon of salt in here. Okay. So then I have a little niche. Okay, so I did not have buttermilk. Everybody knows you're famous for having homemade pancakes with buttermilk. So I did not have buttermilk. So what I have is I have to make a conversion into buttermilk. So I have a 2% of two cups of milk here, which calls in my recipe. So to convert this into, sorry, to convert this into buttermilk, I have to make, I have to change it. A little chemistry here. So you're like, oh my gosh, it works, I promise. So you're gonna take a teaspoon per cup of vinegar to your regular milk. And that will convert it to buttermilk. Now, if you add more, just remember it will be more bitter. I don't want the bitterness, I just want the buttermilk flavor. And that's all you're doing. It's just a little chemistry, or just a little bit of it breaks it down and it curves the milk a little bit and it will taste like buttermilk. It's it's funny, but it works. Okay. So I'm gonna set that to the side for just a second. Bring my bowl back. 
Okay, so I have a teaspoon of salt that I'm going to be adding. And now that I have all my and two cups of sugar. And two cups of sugar. Where'd my sugar go? I have my sugar. Oh, did I forget sugar? Oh, hold on guys. I forgot sugar. How much sugar? Two tablespoons. Okay, it's two tablespoons of sugar. One, two. Okay, we're good. All right, now I'm gonna add in my milk, which is gonna be my homemade buttermilk. I just add in gradually. That's all I'm doing. Just mix it in. You don't have to blend it up like crazy or anything. The more you mix it, the flatter it will become. Because we added uh, a rising ingredient, and that was the baking soda and the baking powder. So the more you mix it, the flatter it becomes. Okay, so now I have one egg I have to add. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon, hold on, I have to add a, it calls for oil, so I'm substituting my oil for my butter, and I melted it down, it calls for a fourth of oil, nothing says like butter, okay, I've got a couple grandkids over, and they are waiting on me to make pancakes, bless their hearts, hey Jody, morning, okay, so I have, I have a basic foundation of pancakes, okay? So that being said, I'm going to divide it and make it even yummier. Uh-oh, nothing like mess. Okay, so I'm going to take a scoop. I'm going to divide it up, and we're going to add some fruit to some of these. Forget your vanilla. I won't. I'm gonna use it on my basic um, batter. I'm gonna add. So I have about. You can add as much as you want. I have about a cup to about a half a cup of blueberries in this. And this is gonna go in here. If it becomes a little soupy because of the blueberries, nothing says you can't add just a dash of flour. Mix it up a little bit, and you've got blueberry pancake mix. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. Then, I get another spoon. Okay, so now we have some strawberries we can add. And I am just going to chop those up. They were frozen. They didn't have any fresh. And everybody loves strawberries. And this is just a basic pancake mix. And then just mix it in. And you let it sit for a minute and it will change it red, which the kids absolutely love. And if you wanted to do a chocolate um, 
pinky mix. Just get you some cocoa. Uh, just put a couple teaspoons in it to your uh, taste because it's already got the sugar in it. Just kind of mix it in with the dry ingredients and then once you get it good and stirred, just start adding your uh, liquid to it and it'll change it to a chocolate pancake. Okay, that being said, I'm going to go back to my basic pancake mix. And like Jennifer said, I'm going to add a teaspoon to my basic um, pancake mix since I'm not going to be mixing it with the um, straw fruit. And I'm just going to add a teaspoon. And I'm just going to mix that up real quick. And it's just that simple. Okay, so that being said, we're going to start cooking. So give me just a second. Let me clear off my space. Okay, we have a little griddle, a little, my little griddle here. Just get y'all over the tag. See if you can see it. Nope. I still like to, even though the um, skillet is nonstick, I still like to add a, um, like a butter spray to it. Just kind of caution. And I believe we're ready. me a long time to figure out how to make pancakes. And pancakes are really simple. There is a trick to them. So the key you're watching for, and I don't know if you can see this on camera, but what we're looking for is they got a bubble. And as they cook, well, huh? the phone eat <laughs> the phone eat the pancake. Oh my gosh. Okay. That was funny. Well, we won't use that one. <laughs> I have got to give me a different.